Hey guys, my name is Randy Varnell. I'm creative director on Battleborn with Gearbox Software. And we're here to kick off what we hope is going to be a weekly segment for Battleborn called Questions from the Community. So if you guys have questions about Battleborn, there are a couple of ways you can ask them to us. You can go to Twitter and you can ask a question with hash, hashtag badass questions. And that'll get to us. The other way to do it is go to our, the Battleborn Facebook page and post your questions in the comments below. Ethan at Ethan, Ethan Amecki asked this, will Battleborn have a single player co-op story campaign or is it only Battle Arena? I'm going to answer two questions in there, Ethan. First off, yes, absolutely, we have a story mission campaign. It's really exciting, tells the story of how the Battleborn formed around to save the last star, Solus. So that's going to be really awesome. You can play that single player, up to five player co-op as you play through with your buddies in different ways to unlock and, and grow your characters and all that. Also. We do have, you call it Battle Arena, but we have what I consider a pretty diverse, awesome first-person multiplayer combat. There's definitely a little bit of Battle Arena flavor in some of it, but you'll see some other modes that are, that are different and other modes that are familiar, a lot of different ways to play the game. It's very exciting, I can't wait for you to, to check it out. Ty and Ray at Tyranosaurus asked this, how much playtime are we looking at for the local co-op campaign? Uh, how would it compare link-wise to Borderlands? It's probably safe to say right now that Battleborn is going to have story mission campaign uh, with the kind of uh, separate missions that tell the story of our universe. It's about the same length as other first-person shooter games you've seen. Now, with that, I'll say this. We've got 25 playable characters, and we're doing a lot to be sure that as you play through that story mission with different characters, you're going to get different bits of experience. You're going to hear different parts of the story. You get, to, you get different experiences. I mean, it's really different when you play like a ranged character like Oscar Mike versus a melee character like Wrath. So really mixes it up. We're also doing some things with score and difficulty mode that we'll talk about more details in the soon that should give you a lot of ways to play and really test yourself against the world of the last star. So yeah, a lot of ways to play, but similar in length if you play one time through to a standard first person shooter game. All right, I have a question here from Connor White at C4White33. Connor asks, is there local multiplayer four player split screen or two player split screen? Hey Connor, we've announced that there's two player split screen in Battleborn and it works whether you're playing the campaign or multiplayer. So if you're playing through our story missions, you can play with a buddy right there local. Or if you want to play online, you can buddy up with that same, same guy or a different buddy if you have a different multiplayer friend. Jump with them online and play together split screen online with a full party. So two player split screen in Battleborn. Syed M. Faraz at Syed M. Faraz asked this question. One question's been bugging me. Is there going to be PvP? Syed, I'm happy to say if you look back to the very first announcement of Battleborn, when we got on the cover of Game Informer magazine, those guys ran an awesome article where they came in and actually played PvP with us. They played a mode that we called Incursion, uh, which is a really awesome 5v5 competitive mode. Yes, we have PvP, and it is awesome. We play it every day in the house at Gearbox right now, and very soon you guys are going to get your hands on it and take a look at it. But 5v5 competitive multiplayer, there are three different modes, Incursion, Capture, and Meltdown. Uh, you can play. There's multiple maps for each of those modes. Uh, it is awesome. If you like that, you can absolutely die in, dive into it. We love it. Also, again, we have story missions, a way to play single player, up to five player co-op through our awesome story of Battleborn. So many ways to play, and I think you're going to love every one of them. Robert Evans at Tattletale Cast. You can see that it's spelled off funny. Tattletale, because I, I guess that the real Tattletale Cast was already taken. Uh, anyway, Robert Evan asks, uh, Evans asks this: While making a game for esports is bad, uh, you have to consider it. Do you have plans to keep competitive balance? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we know that you guys love the, we love competitive play at Gearbox. In fact, Gearbox engages in a lot of competitive play versus some other developers. We all gr jump into the games that, that probably all you guys are playing too. We love competitive games. We've actually worked on some in the past, both with Halo multiplayer and, and a little bit of work with Counter-Strike. We know that competitive balance is really important. So yeah, we spent a lot of time from the very, very first days of Battleborn being sure that we understand how to balance our game, uh, that we, we have tools, that we can watch the balance, that we're ready to listen to it, and support it post-launch to do that. That said, we know that this is a ridiculously complex thing with so many ways to play and so many characters. There's a lot of complexities in the balance. We're not going to get it right at the beginning. We're, we hope we're pretty close, but we're excited to engage with you guys to help this be a great A competitive experience. It's going to be a game that we'll all play for a long time. Sam Maricalio at Smericali asked this question. How important are esports to you guys? Sam, 
we dig esports. Again, we, we Gearbox has a long history playing with competitive games, and, and even as just kind of fans and gamers ourselves, playing competitive games with other people. We play all sorts of competitive games from, from, from uh, uh, online shooters to, to the MOBAs, to the battle arenas, to, uh, to all sorts of other games, even Magic the Gathering board games. Everything we do internally is, is competitive. Esports has been a huge deal, and we've been excited to watch that as gamers and see how the industry has embraced that the last few, few years. We hope that Battleborn can be that type of game, but you know what? It's really up to you guys. If you guys get in, play the game, love it, play it with us, and, and love it a lot, we hope to support it, we hope to, to stay right there with you, and we hope that Battleborn takes off into something that we all love playing together in a competitive fashion for years and years. Swifty at EverReady AF asked this question, is there any loot in Battleborn? Yes! We're really excited. We've talked just a little bit about our gear system. Basically what you do is you're playing Battleborn, you're going to unlock gear packs, which you can pop open and you're going to get random loot from those. You'll bring those gear into the match with you and it gives you all sorts of different ways to customize your Battleborn. You like more damage, there's more damage. You like lifesteal, there's that. You want to drop a grenade when you die? Cool, that's the way you like to gank your, your, your enemies? Sweet. All sorts of different ways to bring in gear. You find random versions of that. There's rare gear, there's legendary gear. We're Gearbox, so we kind of have to put that thing in the game. But yeah, there's absolutely loot in Battleborn, and we hope you enjoy it when you get your hands on it soon. It's been a lot of fun hanging out with you today. Remember, if you have questions about Battleborn, you can go to our Twitter, at hashtag BadassQuestions, our Facebook page, post them in the comments, and follow up and ask your questions about Battleborn. We'll see you later.